65 million years ago, when a meteorite or a comet struck the Yucatan Peninsula at about the same time that volcanic eruptions in India were causing the Deccan traps, which were poisoning the planet, a mass extinction, the second worst in history, ended the Mesozoic era and caused the extinction of perhaps 60% of life on Earth, including the majority of the dinosaurs, with the exception of their feathered descendants, uh, some lineages of birds. In the Cenozoic era, which followed this mass extinction, in a world devoid of the large dinosaur, carnivores, and herbivores, some birds increased their body size to occupy niches formerly occupied by dinosaurs. This included what appear to be relatives of the southern screamer, a primitive bird which still retains claws on its wings, a family of large flightless birds, the Gastornithidae, which could reach two meters in height and lived during the early Cenozoic, the late Paleocene to the Eocene. These birds are known from multiple sites in Europe, such as England, France, and Germany, from North America in sites as varied as New Jersey and the Southwest, and China. There may be multiple genera uh, identified, Gastornis and Diatrama, or it may be that Diatrama is a synonym for Gastornis. A seemingly related family of giant flightless birds, the Dromornithidae, is known from the continent of Australia from the Miocene to more recent times of the Pleistocene, perhaps even uh, with early humans which reached Australia having a role in their extinction. These birds could reach three meters in height. This modern Siriema is thought to be related to two groups of extinct flightless birds which included species which grew to more than two meters in size. One, the Bath Ornithidae, is known from North America, from the Eocene to the Miocene, while the other, the Forest Rockidae, is known from South America, from perhaps the Paleocene to very recent times. The Forest Rockidae included smaller forms, uh, which measured less than a meter in height, and then a number of species throughout the continent, including Argentina and Brazil, which could reach two to two and a half meters and were apex predators. Diverse species lived during different times in the Cenozoic era, and one genus, Titanus, migrated late in the Cenozoic from South America to North America and has been found in Florida and Texas. It probably did not survive until the time when humans reached North America. Some flying birds also achieved great sizes. The New World vultures and condors had relatives which were known as the Teratorns. Teratornis in North America could achieve a wingspan of almost four meters, while Argentavis in South America could achieve a wingspan of more than six meters. The genus Pelagornis, perhaps a relative of storks, was known from the Oligocene through recent times and was known throughout the world, from Australia, New Zealand, to several sites in Europe and North Africa, to South America and North America. Its bill possessed processes which seemed like teeth, but which weren't true teeth, rather hardened extensions of the jaw bones. A few birds evolved in large size and actually survived until humans encountered them and hunted them to extinction. 
These include the moas of New Zealand, which could grow more than three and a half meters in height and weigh more than 230 kilograms. The giant elephant birds of Madagascar, which could stand more than three meters and could weigh more than 700 kilograms, being the heaviest birds known. And then the dodo, a pigeon relative, which would grow to a meter in height and weigh 17 kilograms.